In our last video, we talked about our Cherry MX standard switches. And as promised, we're gonna now talk about the special ones. Some of these special switches are still in production, some are not. So let's start with the ones that are still in production. So we've got the very famous Cherry MX clear switch, which is similar to the Cherry MX brown switch. It has a small tactile bump, but a little bit different from the brown ones. Let's hear how the Cherry MX clear switch sounds. The Cherry MX Grey switch is also similar to the Cherry MX Brown with a tactile bump, but this one was used in keyboards from the Cherry MX Brown on the spacebar because the Cherry MX Grey has a heavier spring force. Let's hear how that sounds. Similar to the Cherry MX Grey, the green switch belongs to the Cherry MX Blue switch. So that one was also used in a spacebar with a higher spring force, but in keyboards with Cherry MX Blue switches. Let's hear how that sounds. And also a very rare switch is the Cherry MX White, which has the same stem as the Cherry MX Green or Blue, but this one has a special lubrication and it doesn't have this noise anymore. So let's hear the white one. So these have been the special switches that are still in production. So let's go to that one that are not in production anymore. One of them is the very famous Jerry Nixdorf switch, which was produced for Siemens Nixdorf back in the late 80s. And that one is similar to the MX Black, but with a clear top housing. Let's hear the sound of that one. And also a very special and rare switch is the Cherry MX Lock switch, which was used in Caps Lock for instance. And this one, if you press down, it stays down. And this is a very unique design and only a few of them are still available. So let's hear the click sound of the lock switch. So with these special key switches, you can really build unique keyboards. And you will rarely find such switches in a pre-built keyboard. So let's start to build your own. <laughs> 